Hey vSpatialers, welcome to the 0.1.14 release of vSpatial. We're pretty excited to show you these new features. Uh, the first one we want to introduce was the carousel overview. Right now it's difficult to see all the windows that you might have open in your carousel. So what we built was a carousel overview. When you use the little scroll button on your controller, the joystick, You'll now see icons that are above the windows that allow you to see which windows are open and to click a button to be able to easily go to those. You can click on any of these icons and it will take you directly to whatever application is open. This will help a lot with management to make sure that you can see all your windows and quickly move between them using your controller. The next feature we've um, introduced is a minimization feature. So you can now, if you hover over any window, hit the little minimize button. And it has a nice little effect where it will minimize in your carousel so that you can use your space a little bit better in case you want to see only the items that are important to you. So now you have these items here. To open them up again, you just click on them and it will open it right back up for you. The last feature that we want to introduce is the media player. We now have a built-in media player application that you can use to play uh, all types of media. To launch the media player, look at your tablet and click the Add Screen button. When you click that, you'll see a media player icon at the top of your launch windows. Use your Raycaster to click on that and launch it. You'll see that it opens up here to the right hand side. Now, your tablet is the tool by which you control your media player. You can load media items from your own computer using the, the little search through your, your folders. Or one of the features that I like the most is load URL from Clipboard. I'm going to go to YouTube here. And you can see on YouTube, one of the best searches that you can do, let me make this a little bigger, is 364K. This gets you really beautiful 360 degree videos, kind of shows off a little bit of VR so you can get in it without having to leave the application. You can go between all these different videos. It's really quite nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wild elephant one. So if you click on the wild elephant one, what you can do is you can see that this is a video of elephants here and you can scroll around and see that inside of it. If you want to be able to get inside of this video, just copy the URL. I just clicked and dragged and then I right click using the B button right here. See that little B button? I'm going to right click and hit copy. Select copy. Now if I click back over here on my media player and click load URL from clipboard, you'll see that I click it and it loads it up inside of this window here. Now from here you could go into maximize mode and watch it just kind of like this, but if we want to go into 360 mode, there's a nice little feature. Just click 360 here and then toggle over to 360. It will automatically put you inside of the video. You can see I can look all around this beautiful landscape. Look down, look up. Here come the elephants. Now there's some nice features. You have your tablet with you inside of this video, which makes it nice to be able to control the video and work with it. You can easily Scroll forward when the elephant's right next to you. Oh, there's a nice elephant. This is around the 120 mark, by the way, if you're looking for a little bit of excitement on this video. You can pause, look around at any item that you want to in here, go back 10 seconds, go forward 10 seconds, etc. Makes it really nice to be able to, and then you can start playing again. Makes it really nice to be able to work inside of these videos, especially these beautiful 4K videos. You can really see a lot of what's happening. When you're ready to exit the video, you can just click the little exit mode right here. You'll take it back to the regular carousel and you'll see the video over here again where you can launch any other videos. We hope that you really enjoy this, um, enjoy this new version. We're pretty excited to get that to you. Remember as always that you can go to our website and there's a support slash support. You'll be able to submit any type of questions or anything that you need help with on that page down there. Um, we're excited about some upcoming collaboration stuff and can't wait to get you that release here in the next couple weeks. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.